Well, if, you're, if you have been tuning into these Friday uh, programs and weekend programs, you know that a big part of what each of those programs is the Word of God. And um, Norm, I know you'll agree with me that we feel like we have one of the best teachers of that Word and knows how to explain it. It's so easily anyone can understand it. And we're very privileged to have our pastor, Gary Mitrick, share today what God's put on your heart, Pastor. You are. Amen. Remember, if you need prayer of any kind, if you're dealing with sickness or you're battling, maybe it's the flu or you just need prayer for your family, for finances, for your spiritual life, prayer partners are available. The number's there, 888-665-4483. The prayer partner will agree in prayer with you. We then are going to take those requests we are going to set ourselves in agreement with you. We believe there's nothing, Hallelujah. nothing Amen. that's too difficult for the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, Norma and Arlene, you know that in the beginning of a new year, a lot of churches, a lot of ministries call a fast yes. mm -hmm. to start that year. I think it's a great way to just set the tone, to come out of the gate, to start the year just putting the Lord first, first. putting just uh, your heart in a place where you can just seek the Lord and, and make him Lord of that new year. Amen. Amen. And I, I want to share out of what I like to call the fast chapter mm -hmm. in Isaiah 58. And because there, there's so many benefits, mm -hmm. there's so many blessings whenever we fast. But verse 6 of Isaiah 58 begins by saying, Is this not the fast that I have chosen? Mm -hmm. Now listen to what God says he will do. To loose bonds of wickedness, wow. to undo heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke. Wow. I that, like, that, that covers it all, man. <laughs> that does. It does. You know, I believe that we, you know, there's a lot of you that you just feel like you've been under this heavy burden. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe it's, it's, a, it's about a family member. Maybe it's about your marriage. Maybe it's about your health. You just feel like you've just been, you know, oppressed. Mm -hmm. You've been depressed. God said he's going to let the oppressed go free. I like that. He's going to break every yoke. Hallelujah. Break those yokes yes. off of you yes. that are not from God. Yes. Then he goes on to say, is this not to share your bread with the hungry mm -hmm. and that you bring to your house the poor who are cast out when you see the naked that you cover him and not hide yourself from your own flesh. And then he says, then your light shall break forth like the morning and your healing Hallelujah. shall spring forth speedily. Yeah. I like that. I yeah. like it too. That's what we're claiming for you. Amen. We're claiming Amen. health is going to sprout and spring forth quickly, mm -hmm. speedily, supernaturally. Goes on to say, and your righteousness shall go before you. The glory, glory of the Lord. Lord shall be your rear Hallelujah. guard. I like that. God's got your back That's, covered. Yes, he does. Amen. Amen. I love that. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry and he will say, here I, I am. am. If you take away the yoke from your midst, the pointing of the finger and speaking wickedness, if you extend your soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then your light shall dawn in the darkness and your darkness wow. shall be as the noonday. Hallelujah. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought and, I like this, strengthen, strengthen your, your bones. bones. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you shall be... Like a, a watered water garden, garden and like a spring of water whose water does not fail, those from among you shall build up the old wow. waste places. You shall raise up the foundations of many generations yes. and you shall be called 
the repairer of, of the, the breach, breach. Hallelujah. the restorer of the streets to dwell in, if you take away your foot from the, the Sabbath, from doing your own pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy day of the Lord honorable, and shall honor him, not doing your own ways, nor finding your own pleasure, nor speaking your own words, then you shall delight Hallelujah. yourself in the Lord, and I will cause you to ride on the high Hallelujah. hills of the earth Woo. and feed you with the heritage of Jacob your father, the mouth of the Lord wow. has Hallelujah. spoken. Hallelujah. Wow. Hallelujah. Wow. Isn't that, isn't that, that is just powerful. loaded ah. with promises oh that we need to grasp and get a hold Absolutely. of? Absolutely. And I just want to encourage you, if you are on a fast as you start this new year, why don't you stand on those promises, promises in the yes. Word? And if you're not, it's not too late to get on Amen. board. And just, just, you know, fast a meal, fast a day of the week, fast certain foods. There's a lot of different ways that you can fast. But, you know, the gospel, Jesus said that there are certain strongholds mm. that are only shattered right. by prayer uh, and fasting. by fasting. Yeah. Fasting is like an added dimension. It's a spiritual weapon in our arsenal Hallelujah. that I believe God really honors. And I love the at the end of Isaiah 58 where it says there that... Uh, we will see restoration. Yeah. There's a lot of people that need restoration Absolutely. in their families, need restoration maybe with someone that, that, that has fallen away or you're not in a healthy relationship with. I, I, I just really believe that the Lord's will for your life Jesus. is that you be restored. Amen. But you know, when you, you go back to those first couple of things that I read there in verse 6, where it says, heavy burdens will be lifted off Hallelujah. of people. I think of so many people mm. that have just been going through a season yeah. where they can't seem to shake it, yeah. can't seem to just get the victory and get to the other side. And if that's you, why don't you call that number 888-665-4483. It says, let the oppressed go free. Mm. I believe that there are people, we, you know, we talked about how even around the holidays, you know, Christmas time sure. and, you know, that, that, that we're just coming out of that. A lot of times that's, a, that's a, an oppressive, depressive, lonely time sure for a lot of people. And, and God's got a wonderful promise there. He's the glory lifter. and the lifter of My your head. head. Hallelujah. God wants Hallelujah. to break yes. off of you a spirit of depression and Praise oppression. Name, Isaiah 61 says, put on, be clothed with the garment of praise, praise. and a spirit, spirit of, of heaviness is going to flee yeah. away. Amen. And I just really believe that, you know, as, as we are fasting and as you engage in a fast, I believe that God wants to do those Hallelujah. things for you. For you, that's Amen. right, for you. Amen. This is your time for your breakthrough. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is here. Yes, He is. We want you to call 888-665-4483. Call in your prayer request. We're going to be corporately praying for you, and we're going to believe God. I believe in for a miracle, Norma. Hallelujah. I am. Hallelujah. Uh, you have me convinced. <laughs> the word That's of the God. Word. The That's word. The word. That's, That's right. God. That's and, right. You know, I think you need to uh, tell, tell us again where you got that, because I'm sure people were so caught up and didn't know that was in the Bible, never, you know, we're blessed to hear it. Yeah. So you need to tell, where is the scripture again? Well, it's, it's in the book of Isaiah in the Old Testament, chapter 58. I like to call it the fast chapter. Right. <laughs> Doesn't take long to read. No, it's, it's, it's all about fasting. And, it's, it, and I love how it starts. Is this, is this not the fast that I, I have, have chosen? chosen. Right. You know, in, in, 
And it's, it starts there in verse 6 and goes all the way through the end of the chapter. But even in the New Testament, in, in, in Matthew chapter 6, as Jesus is teaching, he basically says there's three things. He says, when you give, when you, you pray, pray, and not if you fast, when. when you fast. And he basically says, don't fast that men see you. No. You know, in the Old Testament, they used to, they used to put ashes on their forehead. Mm -hmm. They would go around with a long, sad face. They would just kind of let every, what, what's wrong? Oh, I'm fasting. Yeah, yeah. And the Lord <laughs> said, don't do it for yeah. men to see you. Do right. it as unto me. Mm -hmm. And if you do it as unto the Lord, the Bible says there in, in Matthew 6, your father who sees you in secret, he will reward, reward you. you. Openly, yes. So there are rewards Amen. for our obedience. There are benefits and many blessings when you fast. So call that number, 888-665-4483. I even love that, that scripture. It says there in Isaiah 58, when you call, I, I will answer. answer. How many people just need to hear a word from the Lord? Right, right. right. Well, you know, when I was first saved, Russell was going to start something new in his ministry. And I was so, I was at home with the boys and, and you know, I was praying for him. Oh, I was excited that he was, do, do, you know, going to do this. And I thought, oh, you know, I'm reading my Bible real, every day. Like, and I came on that scripture, <laughs> the last one you said, mm -hmm. and I thought, oh, I better fast. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and then, I, and then it, the Lord spoke to me. He said, three days. Mm -hmm. So I never, I had any teaching on it. I didn't know anything about it. But I did but what you the, did. And guess what? He came home with quite a story. Praise the Lord. Praise and the so Lord. And so I know it works. It does work. I think, too, that this time of the year, when we have been caught up, as you said, in the latter part of last year, the attention is all on people, what to give them, what to get, what do I want, I have to do this, I have to do that. And this, when you start the beginning of the new year, it kind of empties all of that out, and you get your focus back on what's really important, which is God. And when... I, you know, for me, when I fast, I just feel like the Lord's just taking all the junk out. Get rid of it, Arlene. Get your focus back on me. I want, I want your, your attention. And what a wonderful way, because we're at that threshold into the new year. And then, okay, God, what do you have for the new year for me? And that's a, he'll set you on that course many times, if that's what you need during this time. But I think that when you fast, I know that when I get down to business with God, denying self, Right. And saying, God, I'm just relying on you. It moves his hand. Fasting moves the hand of God for you. Amen. I believe it does. Yeah. And I believe that there's a lot of people out there. Um, sometimes when we come to these programs, the Lord starts to speak to me before we ever get here. And today, as I was coming driving and the weather wasn't real good, the Lord kept saying, trap. T-R-A-P, trap. He said, Arlene, I want you to tell people I know that they feel like they're trapped. They're either trapped in their financial situation. They're trapped in a body that maybe doesn't work like it used to. They're trapped in a lie that Satan has told them that they're no good, that they have nothing good to offer. You'll never amount to anything. They're trapped in thoughts of, of um, I, don't, I can't shape up because I'm inferior God says today, tell them, I'm opening the doors to the trap. And you're coming out of that trapped feeling. That feeling, there's, there's a, a man. You, Satan has told you that you're a homosexual. And because perhaps you had some tendencies as a young child, that left a, a mark in your mind, am I, am I not? and you have felt trapped in that, that sentence someone put on your life telling you you're a homosexual. And I'm telling you that God said, you wanna come out of that trap? He's gonna set you free today. I want you, sir, whoever you are, you're a young guy, you're not real old, but you're, you know who I'm talking to. I want you to get on the phone right now and call our prayer partner. They're gonna pray with you and take authority over that lying spirit that has held you bound for such a long time that you can't even stand yourself. You can't even think, well, this, this isn't right and I know I shouldn't be like this, but the but is from the devil. And I'm telling you, today is your day of freedom. 
call that person and they'll pray with you. And then I want you to ask for a man named Chuck. Chuck's going to help you get some further counseling and some, some real in-depth prayer and help to be set free. You know who you are. And you want to be free. This is a brand new year. This is a brand new day for you. Go to the phone now, 888-665-4483, and tell them, I'm the one Arlene's been talking about, and I, I want to be set free today. Maybe you're sitting there, and your, your body is racked with pain, and you're so tired of the pain. Come out of that thing today. God's grace, His, His love, and His mercy is waiting for you to say, Come, Lord Jesus, and do for me what no one else can do. Go ahead and make that call now. It's really, really important. You know, you said you felt like the Lord put that word trap in your spirit. The Bible says God will make a way of escape. Yes. That you will be able to bear it. Absolutely. God has a way out. Absolutely. God has your answer. Yes, he so does. So call that number, 888-665-4483. Today Hallelujah. is your day Hallelujah. of deliverance. Yes, it is. And he whom yes, the Son sets free. sets free is free indeed. 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 You will know the truth. Yes. And the yes. truth is going to make you free. Call that yes. number. Yes. Norma, what do you have? Praise well, God. Well, um, I have Hallelujah. a message for... Um, Whenever you were speaking, um, uh, this family Jesus. feels trapped too because they Jesus. have uh, they have to go to court, no and they and they they've been really upset about this. Mm -hmm. and, and the Lord says, "Trust me and see what I will do." Now, if you're the one that has to go to court, Jesus. maybe more than one, but I know there's one special one, and so let us know. Jesus. When that happens, because it's, you know, I, I've never had to go to court only to be on a jury. And I guess it's a frightening thing. Sure. You know, for people. But just, we just say the fear has to leave. Jesus' and name. And we'll just see what God does. You know, the Lord is our advocate. He's yes. our great attorney. He yes, really he is. is. Yes. And I would just say, you know, whenever you physically are in that courtroom, invite the Holy Spirit there. Amen. Invite his presence into that courtroom with you. Amen. I like to invite him wherever I go. Absolutely. If you go into the hospital room, invite him there. You know, you go to work, invite him there. Absolutely. Invite his presence. Invite his presence. Yes, when you're yes, getting in yes. the car, especially, you know, when there's inclement uh, weather, weather and road conditions, right. invite the Holy Spirit, wherever you are, let the angel of Hallelujah. the Lord surround Hallelujah. you. The Hallelujah. Bible says, and he will deliver you. Yes, he, he will. is your deliverer. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Come Amen. On. Amen. I tell you. I feel his presence I tell right you, here and, with and us. And you know, the phones are busy. People keep calling, keep calling, because as Pastor said, we're definitely going to be having a corporate prayer at the end. But I just want to mention there's um, this woman. Again, you're talking about court, says she needs favor with judges and no conflicts that are trying to adopt their grandchildren. Okay. So that's something we need to pray about. Person's having problem with their digestive tract. Another one needs a prayer to get a job. A lot of, you know, a lot of need. Uh, Dominic, he's a great grandson, two months old. He had surgery yesterday. We need to lift him up in prayer. Doesn't say exactly what the cause is. But Linda also has some knee surgery. There are so many varied types of needs today. Only the God that we serve can take care of all of these. This is but small things for a God so big as we serve. You know, he's not by limited by any space, Amen. any anything. He's a you good know, God. You mentioned digestive tract. I really believe <laughs> yeah. that the Lord wants to touch stomachs. Come on. Right. A lot, lot of you right. are battling stomach Amen. viruses, Amen. influenza, but it's affecting your digestive tract, uh -huh. right. your intestines, yes. your stomach. We just say, be Healed, healed in the name Jesus of name. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. Be whole. I believe the Lord's touching joints. Yes. I believe Amen. there's I that he is. joints, arthritic joints. God just wants to bring relief and release. Pain has to go. Yes. Jesus name. Sickness has Hallelujah. to leave. Hallelujah. We stand against sickness and yes, disease Lord. by the stripes that Jesus Christ bore at Calvary for you. Hallelujah. You are 
the healed. You were healed. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. I just have to say that I agree with your prayer, but there's somebody that was watching said, I don't think he can really do that. <laughs> he, I never heard of such a thing. I, how can those people be in front of a camera and say all this? Well, explain it. <laughs> we can't I know that this person has a problem with a knee, mm -hmm. and you've suffered a lot, and you, a lot of things have happened, and you, you never heard. That's good news. That is Amen. good news. But, you know, you have to believe, don't you? You Absolutely. do have to believe. You know, in First Corinthians chapter. Uh, 12 the Bible talks about nine gifts of the Holy Spirit that when we receive the Holy Spirit we receive these gifts and they're not ours they're from right. God and so many times you want one gift is a word of, of knowledge it's when God drops something yeah. in us that's that's from him about a person gives us a word that is present knowledge about okay. a condition in their life. There's also gifts of healing. There's working of miracles. There's a gift of faith. faith There's yeah. all kind of gifts. And so when you hear things like that, like the Lord put that word trap in your spirit or the Lord gave you that word, you know, about somebody's knee, those are gifts of the Holy Spirit. And all you need to do is open your spirit up. Yes and say, Lord, I receive that. I receive that word. I'm going to claim that word by faith because all the gifts operate in faith Amen. Right. and they need to be believed, believed. and received right. in faith. Right. And then if you will do that, as you said, just watch what God will do. Amen. Amen. Right. And, you know, also the Lord spoke to me about prostate cancer. Jesus. And, you know, that's a problem that men have. Mm -hmm. And there's somebody watching that found out recently and they just think their life Jesus, is over. Yeah. It's not over. No. It's not over. You know, you you just said the right thing, that Amen. we need to trust the Lord. Yes, we do. And yeah. it may be new for you. And it may not, may, maybe it's not new. But anyway, the shock, the shock of it just is torn you up. Well, Jesus. you know, Humpty Dumpty fell off of a wall <laughs> and they couldn't put him back together again, but God can put yes, you back can. together That's again. That's right. And so know that and claim that. Amen. And let us know when it happens in Thank Jesus' you. name. You know, Norma, so, so much is the battles in the mind. Right. The battle is with torment. Yes. It's with fear. It's the fear of the unknown. Right. You know, when you hear a, a word like cancer, that, that, that's, people just panic. They go into that they fear mode. Yeah. And, and the, the word of God says, God, God has not given you a spirit, spirit of fear. fear. So I always say, hey, if it's not from God, I don't want to receive it. That's it. right. Second of all, it's a spirit. That's right. So you need to treat it as a spirit. You have authority as a believer that you need to use and bind that spirit of fear. Bind that fear of cancer. God hasn't given you a spirit of fear, but he's given you power. He's given you love. God so loves much. you. And he's given you a sound so mind, a disciplined mind. Take authority over the lies over the thoughts in your mind that are not of God and pull them down, tear Jesus. them down in Jesus Christ's name and ask the Lord to fill you with peace. The peace of God will guard your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. And there's somebody watching that's been going around and saying words like this. I, I think there's something wrong with my eyes. I think I'm... I think I'm, maybe I'm going blind, but I'm afraid to go to the doctor. I, I, I'm just in confusion. I don't know what is what. Well, guess what? God heard all that, and he didn't like it. So he told me to tell you, don't talk like that anymore. Because words have power. Yes. And you need to, you need to say, ask the Lord to touch you. Ask, believe that he can do it. Amen. And and you'll see a, you'll see a change. I guarantee it. In Jesus' name. 
I want to I want to talk to go back to that word trapped again. There's um, a woman who is devastated because she's trapped in a relationship that has no love, no no uh, romance, no kindness, no gentleness, just existing in a home for reasons uh, I could go into, but I, I won't. And you feel like it's never going to change, and you long to be loved like every woman longs to be loved. And you're feeling like this is the rest of my life. I have to live like this. I'm telling you, no. Those things that, that hold you and bind you to that loveless relationship, God can set you free from them because he sees the whole picture and he knows every detail of it, details that you don't even know. I want you to call now and just ask the people to pray for you that you're, you want to get out of a relationship that you know should not have taken place in the beginning. Huh. That's a rough one. But God is faithful, and he sees your heart. And if you're willing to just turn it over to him and say, God, you work it out. And I, and I, I know that he will, because that's the kind of a God he is. Amen. He cares about how much you're loved in your life. He, and he loves you. He really, really loves you. Go ahead, go to the phone, 888-665-4483, okay? Amen. So please call because we don't have a lot of time left in this segment. We're going to be laying hands on, on all of the prayer requests, believing, releasing a word of healing, releasing restoration, releasing that deliverance that's going to break yokes off of you. Terry called and she said her daughter was having complications with her pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know how that could play oh, in your yeah. mind with, yes. with thoughts. But she, she called for prayer and she, her daughter went to the doctors, received an excellent Praise report, hallelujah. hallelujah, a victorious report. Amen. So Amen. God hears and answers yes. our prayers. Yes, yes, he yes, 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 he does, he does. He loves us. He does. You know, that's hard for us to mm. understand when there are so many of us that he Absolutely. loves each one, each one of us and you at home and, and all the people. We're all special to him. Amen. We're his kids. <laughs> We're his right. kids. My goodness, he loves his kids. That's for Amen. sure. Amen. You know, well, there's, people are calling. They Lord. are. You know, and I've got piles of them here. Most of these are for people that have pain in their body. One has a toothache. One has the, the knee problems. Other people have legs, the back, and all that. We really need yeah, to ahead. pray. The foot. Just do that? Heavenly Father, we do. We send the word of healing and yes. the prayer of healing to each one that are suffering pain in their body. We're thankful that Jesus paid for that pain at Calvary when he bore those stripes for the healing of our bodies. So we say pain, wherever you are in bodies, go yes. in the name of Jesus go. right now. Go. Be gone in Jesus' name. No more in Jesus' name. We say, let, let the peace of God fall into these bodies. Let the healing touch be evident, Lord. Let them call and say, wow, that pain's gone. In Jesus' name we pray and thank you for pain-free bodies in your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Now, when you were praying, mm -hmm. somebody had, had a uh, headache, a migraine? migraine headache, and God showed me the blood flowing. Okay. And you know, when the... When you have a migraine headache, the blood is yeah, flowing. Right. But when he's the healing's happening, Hallelujah. it's flowing. flowing. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> thank you for your prayer. Well, thank God for <laughs> thank God for Jesus and what he did at Calvary. It's great. Amen. And and you know, uh, I just want to talk to, to those of you that are spirit filled believers. Jesus. Because the the book of Romans chapter eight says that we don't know how to pray as we ought. That's right. But when we pray in the spirit, First of all, we're praying the perfect, perfect prayer, will. the That's perfect right. will of God. Second of all, it says that we, um, when we pray in the Spirit, it helps our infirmities. It helps our weaknesses. Thirdly, you know, we've been talking about how the enemy tries to torment our minds. Right. It keeps your mind yes, occupied yes. and filled up so that those negative lying Can't thoughts cannot come in Absolutely. and then of course in Jude the the verse 20 it says building yourself up on your most holy, holy faith praying in the Holy Spirit Absolutely. so that is a great weapon in your arsenal it's like fasting is a weapon so is praying in the Holy Spirit Norma right. yeah. well suppose people don't know 
it, what, how do you get that? Well, there's only two requirements to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. One, you need to be a believer. Second of all, you need to ask for it. Amen. And if you call one of the prayer partners and say, that, that, that man was talking about praying in the Holy Spirit, I would like to receive that. They will pray with you and you can be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. It's a second and separate experience right. from our salvation. We receive the Holy Spirit when we get saved. He yes, comes a, a measure. within <laughs> us, but then at the, when we receive the baptism in the Holy Spirit, He comes upon us without measure. Hallelujah. And that's a big weapon. Pastor, read that one. You'll love it. Okay. <laughs> well, this is uh, from Elizabeth, and she said that I had a word of knowledge for uh, a shoulder healing, and she says that, now she is free of all pain <laughs> yeah, yeah. and moving yeah. freely. Hallelujah. Yes, Pain's Lord. going. Go Pain is leaving bodies. Absolutely. Pain, it's leaving the, the TMJ joints. Mm -hmm. It's leaving shoulders and necks. It's leaving the hip. It's leaving yes. the stomach. Pain is leaving Go backs. On. We say the spirit yes. of pain, the spirit break of it. infirmity yeah, must it. loose you in now in the name of Jesus. In the name, name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus and hearing, hearing. Yes. God's, is God's helping people that have problem with hearing. Amen. Yes. In Jesus. Pastor, could you pray? Because there's such an outbreak of this flu. I mean, it's touching so many people. Could you just take authority over that? Because they said that this county of all the whole state has the worst outbreak of, of the, and there's like it's our, our hospitals have more cases than anybody. So let's just go to the source of that and take authority. Let's just break that hold of that influenza, Amen. that virus. And okay? we do right now. We set ourselves in agreement that that influenza virus has to die in the name of Jesus. We curse it at the root. Lord, I ask you to build up natural immune yes. systems, but I also pray, Jehovah Rapha, yes. that you arise, Hallelujah. arise with Hallelujah. healing in your wings. We send the word yes, to anyone yes, battling Lord. the flu, yes, and we say, be healed, be, healed be restored in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We Thank plead the Lord. blood yes. over yes children and grandchildren, students in the schools, that they will be kept safe and healthy throughout these winter months. And anyone that's battling the flu, we just say, receive your healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Oh, there's still time to call. Thank you, Lord. 888-665-4483. Call a prayer partner. If you need prayer for anything we've been talking about or anything just that's going on in your life, let's get in on this. We're claiming out of Isaiah 58 the many benefits of a fast. And one of them is health is going to spring forth speedily. Amen. I claim that things are not going to linger and drag on things that you have... You know, sometimes people get over something and then it tries to come back. back. Yeah. Naaman says it will not come back a second, second time. time. Amen. You are free Amen. in the name of Jesus. That thing is under your feet. Amen. And you need to claim the victory Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. I have one more here, and it's um, a woman who's asking for prayer. I'm sorry, a man who's asking for prayer for his daughter. Um, she's in pornography. And she's 20 years old, and it's concerning of him. And that's a rough road to walk down in life, Pastor. Yes, it is. It's, a, it's, it's an addiction. Yeah, and it's, and it's a road of destruction. Yes. Because it destroys the normalcy that God created us for those parts of our, of our life. And it gets tainted by the enemy, and I hate when he does that. So today, Anthony, we're going to be praying for her. You mentioned her name. We're not going to say it here, but we're praying for her. I want you to know that specifically in well, Jesus' name. Let's just name. lay hands on all the requests. Amen. I know there's still Coming many in. that are on the phones and people are still calling. Well, let's just each pray. Hallelujah. Or would you start? Heavenly Father, we're so thankful that there's no impossibilities with you. 
And then God, we know that when we stretch our faith out and we move toward you, you always move toward us. Father, we thank you that with faith, it's impossible. Without faith, it's impossible to please you. But with faith, all things are possible. So God, we just pray for every request. You know what they are. You know when that caller made the call, Lord, what was on their heart. And perhaps they could not express it, but God, you know the innermost part. So we just thank you that today healing is coming to all these cases today. In Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for those people that are watching that haven't called, mm -hmm. that need to call, Jesus. that are afraid to call, and also Jesus. those that have never accepted Jesus. Lord, yes, Lord. this is a new year and a new month, and we pray that your kingdom will be increased today because we know there are people that need to call. We're trusting they will call. And I'm already rejoicing in Jesus' Thank name. You, and Lord, I send the word into hospital rooms, Jesus. people that are facing surgery, those that are recovering from it. I send your word into nursing homes. Yes, Lord. I send your word into prisons and yes. jails all across the nation. Yes, Lord. We send your word and we say, be healed, be Jesus encouraged. Name. Be delivered, be restored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you. We pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Praise God. And Norma mentioned it. If you are watching and you do not have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, praise you, Lord. If you've never invited Christ to forgive you of your sins, and come into your heart to be the Savior and Lord of your life. Why don't you do that right now? The Bible says, with the heart man believes, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Praise your name. It's not what you know that's going to get you into heaven. It's who you know. That's right. Do you know Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. And if you would just pray and say, Dear Jesus, if you would just say that, Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, I confess, I confess all of my sins. All of my sins. And I ask you to forgive me. And I ask you to forgive me. Wash me and cleanse me. Wash me and cleanse me. With your precious blood. With your precious blood. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. As my Savior. As my Savior. And be the Lord of my life. And be the Lord of my life. The Lord of this new year. The Lord of this new year. Fill me with peace. Fill me with peace. And with your Holy Spirit. With your Holy Spirit. And be to me. A father, a father and a friend. And a friend. Today, Jesus, Today, Jesus, I'm coming home I'm to you. I'm coming home to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> now, if you prayed that prayer, mm. I want you to know your name is written in the Lamb's yes. Book of Life. And you Hallelujah. will spend eternity in heaven with Jesus. If you call a prayer partner and say, I just prayed with that man on TV. I just prayed with Pastor Gary. Mm -hmm. We will send you material free of charge to help you in your new walk and in your new Praise life. Praise your name, Lord. Well, we have certainly sensed the wonderful presence of the Lord Hallelujah. here with you today. We're going to go now back to Pastor Myra Bell. Yes. She's going to sing that wonderful, tribute. wonderful song. Yeah. A tribute to Andre Crouch, through it all. Hallelujah. So why don't you just enter in and receive while we go Praise to Pastor Myra. Thank you, Lord. I'm so glad. Pastor Andre Crouch knew this so many, many years ago, and, it, and this song just got embedded in me, that through it all, the Word of God, I've learned through it all, you can depend on God's Word. 